Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mubarak and I was coming to our 13th lecture of creating a complete marketplace system. So I'll go ahead and start a timer. As you know, it's the 40 minutes, so I'll start a timer, right? So let's go straight to our today's business. So in the previous lecture, we were able to work with the products uploading. Uh, we were able to finish like at least the stock management, the product uploading and the rest. So in this lecture, we're going to stop, we are going to resume, I mean from there, now we're going to do something again new, we're going to uh, create now the landing page, now we're going now to the shop itself, where people will be able to browse the product or the public people. So that's what we're going to do in this, uh, what, in this particular lecture. So I have a lot of things to put together, and that means let's go straight into our today's business. So what I'm going to begin with. I'm going to begin with by creating uh, here a new folder that I'm going to call shop. All right. So in that folder inside screens that I've called shop is where I'm going to put the the real uh, the real landing space of the heart of the products. Okay. So let's go ahead. So here we have some uh, some 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 what some unwanted modules. However, I'm just going to put there the link for what for that will take you to shop. Okay, so let's go to my souls here. I'm just going to come and modify this. However, we shall finalize and remove all the unwanted, unwanted things from here. Uh, so let's come here on top, on top here. Let's come on top here and uh, put here a list tile. A list style and give it a title of uh, fx text and say maybe title and say uh, shop home page something like that okay or home screen all right so i want when someone click there they should be able to see the uh the what the main screen for the shop all right so let's do that um <clears throat> so i can attach those things where okay so you can maybe put here some divider all right so one here when someone click here they should be taken to the what to the shop main page so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to come here i'm going to create a new home page for the shop from scratch so I'll come here and say new. So I'll come here the folder that I've just created. I say new, and then say um uh shop home screen. Okay, just say home screen. This, this is this is the main shop. So this, let's call it home home screen. Okay, then say that. Okay, to that. I can just press a show home screen, just anything. Well, let's keep it home screen of the main home screen. Okay, so I'll just simply go there and press enter. That's going to be our home screen. So I can put here some stateful widget and call it home screen and then import these other things. All right. There we go. So after doing so, now I'm going to put here uh, the click. When someone clicks on this home page, they should be taken to the home screen of that shop. So come here in this list style and then put on top um, on top and then I go ahead and say get the two get the two and I open like this and then I go to the shop home screen like this so I go ahead and import it so it's a home screen now if someone clicks here They'll be taken to the what? To the home screen of that shop. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to benchmark from a, a shop that I'd already created somewhere. Uh, so I'm going to benchmark from that. Uh, so at that point, we're going to come to our app. Okay, I'm going to come to the app scaffold. So let's go to the screen here. This is the screen, the home screen of the shop. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to okay.
all right so let's come here and just go ahead and put a scaffold like this return the scaffold so as simple as that all right so after returning the scaffold the next thing that we're going to put we're going to put a safe area so the body is going to be in safe area and then the child of that safe area is going to be just a row So I have their home screen. So I'm going to give this um, this uh, scaffold an up bar. All right. So they are going to have a heart, our title. Okay. So this up bar, I'm going to put their expanded. So, in this column of the content, I'm going to put expanded. I'd already designed the homepage, so I don't want to repeat myself by wasting your time. So, let's remove this constant. So, in this expanded, we are going to put a uh, tabular tabs view so on this one is a row so it's going to have a child of tabs view so inside that tab view you're going to put a controller All right and then put a controller there And remove all these I think remove this area just put tab as the body all right so we're going to have a controller so let's go ahead and create a, a tab view controller Come on top here and say tab view controller, let tab view, tab, I mean tab controller, and then you go ahead and initialize it. So let me see if we can't initialize it from here. you can do that so you come here to init state so in the init state we're going to initialize the tab view controller so it's going to be tab controller got tab controller and then you say length is going to have five and then you say vsync you put this so it means that um our what our screen here it has to extend with single ticker so here i have to add with single ticker provider state mixing so you have to come here after the state okay after state here here you just have to add this okay with the single ticker provider state mixing so you add it here immediately after the state so by doing so then you shall be able to make use of tabs so if you come here, tab controller, it's got tab controller, then length, it's got five, sync, it's got this, and then you put initial index to be zero. Hope you can see that. 
okay so we go ahead and fit we add a listener on this tab view and then you say set state when there is a listener we update everything okay so after doing so after doing so let me remove this okay after doing so let me let's, let's proceed after doing so the next thing that we do we go ahead and uh, we go ahead and do what we go ahead and uh, and put the dispose and dispose the tab control in case it has left the screen so tab control to dispose then put that all right so after doing so we come back to a tab view come back to a tab view so this tab view is going to have children of different uis so let's come here and put children and then we shall have five children whereby you can have maybe the main home page the home screen the orders maybe the charts the vendors we shall come to that we shall come to that we shall define those one later so after doing so um after putting those uh children we proceed now next to the to that tab view controller now we're going to put a what we're going to put now the tab controller itself okay so i mean that here is going to be in the column so i'll go and put surround this tab view with the column or by this tab view is going to be taking the whole screen so i put here expanded like this so here after expanded it's so we're going to put now a what our controller the one that shall be pressing on and it moves the tab so if i save like this i need to restart our app so let's go ahead and go back click now on home page you see we have the home page there so it is not scrollable why because it is able it from here but if remove we remove this shall be able to navigate like this so i don't want it to be scrollable at this point so there we go we don't have any error everything is still okay so after doing so after doing that the next thing i'm going to do here the next thing that we're going to do we're going to <coughs> we're going to go ahead and place in our footer all right so our footer so i mean the 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 the, the and next extend here we're going to put now where we shall have the tab controller so we're going to put here for example our fx what our fx container so fx container all right put it so this fx container we can give it radius of zero So you give it these parameters background color white border border it is true enable border radius to be false all right so we shall have something like this in the bottom so after doing that i will proceed we're going to give it the border so so I'll come here and then go ahead and put the border top so you shall have that kind of gray border that you see on top there so after putting the gray board on top there, you can pause the video and look at how I'm putting it. Uh, the next thing you're going to put now the padding space. So put here FX spacing. I've already put give it in the project that I shared with you. Then you shall have that kind of what of padding X and Y. So after doing so, we're going to give it margin of zero. So you should have no margin. So give it margin of zero like this. After doing so, we're going to give it now the tab. It's going to be the child of the main thing. It's going to be the tab. So go ahead and put here the child. The child is going to be the tab controller. All right. The tab controller is going to be the child. So let me go ahead and close it like this. All right. So this tab controller is going to take some parameters. So the first parameter is going to be taking uh it's going to be the tabs themselves the tabs themselves so i'll come here and copy these tabs and then put them here i'm going to explain them everything step by step so those are going to be the tabs oh, sorry i've not done something right here so you can give it child so i'm going to put here the tabs themselves all right so let me go ahead and remove these tabs i'm going to explain it so let me go ahead and give it just an empty tab so if I save, 
you'll see that we have that kind of error we're going to fix it immediately right now okay so this tab is going to be having it's going to be having the what we've called the navigation item so this navigation item we shall be giving it uh the name and also an icon so here this icon coming from what we call feather icons package so the feather icon package is a package that you can add in your project i believe it's not added there let's go ahead and add it so to add feather icons shall just simply come and search for icons Why it's not streaming? All right, so come and search for feather icons package. So feather icons package, here it is. Let me install it so you can add it to your project. And just add this one under dependencies in YAML file. So let's go ahead and add feather icons. Come here, terminal, and add feather icons. So they have been added, and this is how you add them in your part, in your project. On top so i'm uh, going to have here nav icon i mean nav item so this nav item is nothing but just a widget that will be accepting the item the name and the title and the icon so let's go ahead and design that nav item what widget just copy it and then the position right and then the position all right so let's go ahead and define it here can put it in the bottom okay so it's called nav item so we'll take a string as a title icon data as the icon and then the index as i so it's going to have a container and then it has the padding of zero and then this container is going to have a what a column so this column will like accept children and then on top we shall have our primary color my colors the primary <coughs> and then you shall have fx body small so it's going to be like now they take this off and then also we put the primary color to be my colors primary down here so that's it so you can pause the video and look at it on top you just have an icon and then here we have the what we have the we have the item all right i mean the the the, the text is off and you can see i've just checked you the text is too long it should display it should abbreviate it if it is not it should so you can see that logic yeah the font size i'm depending it on the text so if i do like this you see that uh, we shall have a home screen there so that is it all right so let's go back to our tabs all right we go back to our tabs that's our first tab we we'll go ahead and put the second tab so that's our first tab we go ahead and put the rest of the tabs so i'll explain this so those are the rest of the tabs all right so the first tab is the home screen right the second tab is the vendors where someone can browse vendors and then the third tab is the sell now where someone can be able to post a product when they want to sell and then the, the fourth product, I mean the fourth tab is the orders, the order that you have received, and all the orders that you've placed. Then the fifth tab is the my account, my account like uh, logging in, logging out, change password, all those things. The big end account. So by doing so, we shall have created our what, our page. So you see, I can navigate through these tabs. Okay, I can navigate through these tabs, and then the icon. In the bottom it is checking changing accordingly so here in the 
in the tab still have some more parameters that we can add all right let's go ahead and see um this tab bar I can say label padding to be zero i've already done that controller i've already set it so the control indicator and the controller indicator this one here that you're seeing in bottom want it to be on top there so i can just simply come and do this logic here so i just simply say fx tab indicator and then i put here indicator color to be primary and then the indicator here to be two and then the radius to be four and then the width to be 40 60 and then the indicator style to be fx tab indicator style to be rectangle and then offset y offset to be minus seven so it can be on top so if i do that and i save you'll see that my indicator is there it has gone on top all right it is there it has gone on top what is that i don't want that thing that is in the bottom the border but if you come here and say border false this one will disappear i don't want that bottle that this thing that is actually in the bottom here i don't know how i can remove it uh, let me see if you remove this whole thing it is gone okay so if you remove this border If you make this border to be red, that bottom thing I don't know. I can get rid of it, but let's just leave it. Shall see later. What if I remove all these things? All right. So you have different design. Have rectangle have circle all those all right so okay so let's proceed let's proceed we shall see how we fix that one later but i don't like it this is a top border mm -hmm. <coughs> if we increase here so it is coming with it within that container all right i don't know whether it's the tab itself but if we remove the tab you leave them in there it's gone i think it is on the tab okay let's see indicator here the indicator it remains there let's come and put border it doesn't have yep i think that's it you feel you played divider color yeah so we just make divider color to be white let's say maybe divider height to be zero I think that will be good. Yep. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, I want it just just disturbing me for sure. Okay, so yeah, so that's 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 good. That's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here to up bar. Here in the up bar, I'm going to Give it the height of zero so you can get rid of up bar. We don't need up bars everywhere. So you can just give it remove the title. Remove uh at um height it's called toolbar height to be zero. I just need to get rid of it. However, I just need to help me to put that <coughs> icons on top to be that colored, right? So you can also maybe come here and say overlay style and put that kind of style. Go ahead and put
that's what they wanted. All right. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let us proceed. Let us proceed now. Let's go ahead and start making the home page. So I finished the structure. Now I can proceed to the main screen. So this first section, I'm going to put here. Uh, so the sections. So this section that you're seeing here, the main screen, what and what, I'm going to be calling them sections. So let me call here and say section home. Let's come here and put new file and say section home home dot dot. All right. So I'm going to put your stateful widget to section home. Import that. All right, that's beautiful. So let's go ahead and import this section home to be now the home. Okay, so I'll come to our app, a home screen. Come to where there is a home here. We need to put this one as section home. So that's our main section. Ah, uh, here you go. It's a section home the content is there and then the app is there all right so I proceed so I got the section home now what I'm going to do next so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start with the body all right so I'm going to start with the body it's coming and return scaffold So since it is okay, let's return scaffold. I was thinking that since it is already in another scaffold, and you don't expect this to put this section home to another screen, why don't you just um, return the container like this is home? So you don't need another scaffold, right? So in this scaffold, I'm going to have a main widget. Okay, it's going to be a column. There you go. So I have the other our home. So on the top of this column, I'm going to put the search icon. I mean the search bar. However, I'm going to begin by putting the logo of our project, then followed by the icon. Okay. So let's begin by doing that. So shall just simply come and say, um, shall cast simply come and say, uh, row. I'll just simply say container remove this constant okay this container is going to have a what it's going to have a row so the first we're going to begin by putting an icon there children so I'm going to begin by putting an icon. So our logo. So our logo it is here. Right, so there we go. We can get a better logo. <laughs> we can get a better logo. Uh, so let's 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 do like this. Let's do like this. Um, let's come to our utils and have some uh some define some definitions. Eh? <clears throat> so let's come to utils. Here to utils and 
got some definitions. What do I have in these colors? For example, this main color. It's an element of colors, okay? So again, come to utils here. And you put some constants. Okay? These constants, let's put them on top there, on the top of the app. Let's put them on top, 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 top of utils. Put them there, real top. Alright, so first things first, let's begin and define the logo. And put your logo on. That's our normal logo. Logo the PNG. Can I have logo two now the horizontal one. Can say maybe logo two the PNG. So this logo two I've not added it. So let's go ahead and get here some logos. Whether you can design your own. So let me open here my Photoshop. So in Photoshop, I'll come here and create a new file. So let me create a square file of maybe 1000 to 1000. That's our first logo, the square logo. Let me come and uh, copy this logo. Just come and copy it. I can just simply save it, then come here, let me copy it, copy, and paste it here, press Ctrl T, however I can just come up with your own logo from wherever you want, me I'm just doing this one for practicing, so I'll just create here some logo. This is okay. Yep, so let me go and crop it. It's not the best, but can go with that. Let's see if we can get a better quality of this. If I click on it, it's for sale. And let's say buy it. Alright, let's go with this, no problem. That one is just for test for, for learning purposes. Alright, so that, that's our logo. Uh -huh. So I'll go ahead and duplicate it. Can I duplicate this layer? Alright, so let's see if I can duplicate this layer. Uh, the layers section. I'm not very good at Photoshop. The layer sections are here. I wanted to see if. Alright.
duplicate layer and say the image visible right so let's go ahead and try to remove some some background Ta -da. delete yeah can go with that she did remove also these ones all right that's our logo All right just for practice all right that's our logo our square logo our square logo so I'll just simply press ctrl shift command and s save as ctrl shift s something like that you just simply come here and find and they say export come here and say export as i think this is the one something like that Control shift alt and s something like that all right then it will give you this yeah i want this one okay save as so i'll come and say it's png maybe make it a little bit quality 24 and then make it transparent transparent ah, let's save that one so i'll come and say this is our logo one the png let me put it here in desktop i have created a folder for market link there we go yeah that's our first logo so i'm going to save it uh let's create now the second logo for the horizontal one all right we can just go with that okay you can you have you may need to create also the the horizontal one which has now the word market link something like that but for the sake of let's go with this one let's go with this unless when we shall want then we shall come and create it again good enough i've saved the ppt so come here and say desktop and come here to market link so the logo is here our final logo it's not the best but it can work for us so i'll come here and say logo so copy that then come and paste it Come to the project come to whether is uh, images assets images logo so i'll replace the one that is there all right and then i can also call it maybe logo one so shall call it also logo one the one that will be horizontal but for now i can just go with this i'll copy this and then also come here to whether it's android images I mean Android app resources drawables that resources values eh? I was expecting here some icon drawables hmm? missing the logo shall come to that later I mean resources drawables where the man face pointing right i just made him into mom okay we shall come to that later all right so let's go back now we have our logo there now let's go ahead and uh, come here to utils let all these ones point at logo for now we can this one so i save so you shall see we shall have that one there our time is up but let's first finish this so we shall have our logo there we shall have our logo there so let me come here to our main logo so come to our section home so we have here our logo all right so next i want to put the search all right the search button so I'll just simply come and say 
expanded and then simply come and put fx container import it and then in that fx container we're going to give it a background color primary okay and then after we come there and give it an icon of searching okay all right let's begin from there in the next lecture yes the next lecture i'm going to design this home page at least it should look like a real marketplace not look like a, it should be like a, it should be a marketplace so let's do that in the next lecture guys uh thank you for watching thank you for being for reaching up to this level you're not going to give up until you finish the whole uh course i mean the whole project all right that's it for today goodbye see you in the 14th lecture we're going to finish here making the landing page making this vendors page the sell now page everything step by step until we finish everything all right see you no see you there see you there goodbye make sure you also subscribe to our youtube channel